so excited about the gift stickers, you guys. Do you love using gifts just as much as I do? If so, how would you like to make your own branded gift stickers? It's so super easy and I'm gonna show you how. Before we get in, what I show you in this video is a Canva Pro feature only, but don't worry, I have another video that shows you how to make free gifts on the free version of Canva. It'll pop up above, so be sure to check that out, but hang around and check this out too, because these are super fun and you might just think, I gotta get me a Canva Pro. Hey there, I'm Kate Danielle, Canva Certified Creative and Graphic Designer, and my mission is to help you save time and design more confidently in Canva. So I love gifts, but what's even more fun is making your own gift stickers. And yes, you can make these and then save them to your phone or wherever and use them in your stories if you want to. But you do have to have Canva Pro because it requires you to be able to download transparent PNGs and it's so easy to get started. Let's jump over to the computer and start having so much fun. Okay guys, so I just have an Instagram size uh, graphic open up here, 1080 by 1080. Uh, any square design is gonna work for this, but I would make sure it's, it's a decent size. And I just have a circle version of my logo, but this really works with whatever. If you want to use a cute element, anything it will work with. I'm going to duplicate it. Duplicate it. There we go. And I'm just going to select it all and rotate it just a little bit. And now you can duplicate this as many times as you want to, uh, but I think for this one, two is gonna work enough and I'm actually gonna just slightly rotate this one in the other direction. Now we're gonna go download these as a transparent PNG. So you have to check this box. And I'm actually just gonna go ahead and bump this up a little to, to one and a half size to make it just a little bit bigger and I'm gonna download. Now at this point, we actually have to go into a different tool, but it is completely free. So you have to unzip your file, be sure to do that. And we are gonna go to gifmaker.me. Click on upload images, go find your images that you downloaded. Here is mine right here. I'm gonna select both of those, give it a little time to do its thing. And now you can go ahead and already see a preview and we've created just a cute little like rotating GIF. So here I would go ahead and bump this up to 100% and you can play around with the speed. You can make it go really fast or s slower. So really fast would be this way and slower this way. It appeared backwards at first, what confused me, but there you go. So I liked it around the default. 500, 600, that's fine. Now I actually like it around 500 or even slightly lower. Oh, let's just type it in. Let's do 450. That looks good. And then you can go down here, um, leave this at zero for infinite loop. That's what you want for a GIF and um, create GIF animation. And then it's not very obvious, but then these menu of things pop up here. Just click download the GIF. Now if I go um, look at this in my finder, it's going to go ahead and show me the preview of that GIF. So I then could um, drop this to my phone and I'm going to just share it. Oh no. I'm going to share this. I'm going to airdrop it to my iPhone and we'll go over to that screen. So here is my GIF that I shared to my phone and it saved it into my photos, videos. And I'm gonna go over, close that out and go to Instagram. And say you wanted to make a story, oh, hello, or do a video, whatever. Let's just record a story. Hey guys, this is my example. You're gonna leave this here. Go back to your photos, go to the thumbnails, hold it down until you get this menu, select copy. 
Now this part, you kinda gotta be careful. Just go back to Instagram, don't click anything. That's gonna pop up and you can add it as a sticker. But if you tap anywhere on that screen, the box goes away. So you have to redo the process. Okay, now you have to let me know in the comments what gift sticker you're gonna make first. I can't wait to see them. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you love this video so you can stay tuned for more videos like this, more Canva tips and business tips. I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, be sure to think like a boss, play like a mom. Cheers!